just did a hit. I'm gonna save those people. It's my duty! Hi, it's me again, and I'm here at the SCDF Work Plan Seminar 2022, here to introduce our brand new 6th generation light fire attack vehicle, better known as the Red Rhino! The Red Rhino is usually one of the first few appliances dispatched to the scene when a fire or rescue call comes in. The first Red Rhino was introduced over 20 years ago, and since then, its compact size has made it an invaluable frontline resource, allowing our emergency responders to quickly arrive at such emergencies. So, the first thing you may notice about this Red Rhino is that there are only three seats. Why is that? Well, that's actually because this Red Rhino operates on a 3 plus 1 crew member setup. Who's that plus 1, you ask? Well, it's that little guy right over there. This is the second generation of Red Rhino robot, also known as the 3R 2.0. Much like its previous generation, the 3R 2.0 assists in firefighting operations as an unmanned water jet, thus freeing up time for our emergency responders to focus on mission-critical tasks. So, what's new about this new version anyways? Well, it has a thermal imagery and video streaming capabilities that allows the crew to assess the situation from a safe distance. Finally got control of one of these things. Ooh, look at this. I'm the best there is. <laughs> now this, this is the compressed air foam trolley, or in short, the calf trolley. Back then, in the previous Red Rhinos, there were no trolleys, only backpacks. The firefighters used to carry the calf backpacks on their back to mitigate the fires due to the calf backpack's convenience. Now, in place of a calf backpack, the new Red Rhinos are equipped with this calf trolley that provides a larger foam capacity with lesser physical strain on firefighters. 50 liters of continuous supply of extinguishing medium can be transported on this trolley, as compared to 20 liters if firefighters were to carry it on their back. Now, while this blanket looks pretty unassuming, it's actually very useful. It complements firefighting operations by helping to effectively contain all kinds of vehicle fires. Now, I think we all know, fire needs oxygen to burn, right? So, by using the blanket, we're effectively suffocating the fire. And, guess what? They only need two people to lay out the blanket. Of course, using an extinguishing medium to put out a vehicle fire is always the first choice for the crew. But, it's always nice to know that there are such handy tools in hand. In the past, many breaching actions needed a two-man team to carry out, such as in spreading, cutting, or breaking a door. Now, with these new and improved hydraulic tools that are battery-operated, even a single emergency responder can operate it alone. Easy! It's been 20 years since the first Red Rhino was released and with it came multiple generations, each with their own improvements. And now the latest generation has heralded a new operating concept that allows for better and more efficient use of our resources. So, don't be so surprised when you see one of these red beauties roaming along our roads. But be sure to steer clear of them when you see that their sirens and lights are on. With that being said, that's all for today. Thank you, stay safe, and goodbye. Hi, it's me again, Julian. <laughs> <laughs>